In this next session, we're going to talk about iCloud and its feature, Find My Mac. This is going to allow us to be able to remotely track the device, remotely lock the device, remotely send uh, an alert sound to it so it makes a sound, um, and we can also remotely wipe the device. Uh, the great thing about um, iCloud in general is just its ability to one back up your your files and stuff so if you log in and you have certain things checked within your iCloud those things are getting backed up whether it's passwords in your keychain or it's uh, bookmarks or whatever right so all that stuff gets backed up and then your Mac if it gets stolen and you don't get it back you go buy a new one you sign in your iCloud and you pull that data back down, right? Um, but one of the best features is the ability to track it, lock it, and wipe it if needed. All right, so let's check this out. Let's go. All right, we're going to need to open up System Preferences in order to create our iCloud account. We're going to click on the iCloud. If you don't have an Apple ID, you can create one now by just clicking this link here. But since I have one, I'm going to use mine. And I'm going to click the sign in button. And it's going to ask me for my multi-factor code because I have I require two two forms of authentication to get into my iCloud account or my Apple ID account now this is going to be the password for the account that you logged in with so enter that At which point, right now, it's starting the process of setting up iCloud on this device. Um, it's going to come up with a window here in a second that gives us two options. Um, two checkboxes. One is to allow you to back up items from this device up to your iCloud. The other is going to be the Find My Mac. And that's going to allow you to be able to track it um, uh, if the device is connected to Wi-Fi, it's going to be able to allow you to wipe it, send a sound alert to it, um, or just lock the device. So here we go. As you can see, use iCloud for your documents and data. We definitely want to keep that checked. Um, I really like the ability to have, if my Mac gets stolen and I go buy a new one, now I got that data back, right? Because I, I had that checked. Um, you'll be able to check the different areas within your iCloud settings. So one other thing to note is that if I go over here to Keychain Access and I and I look at this, right now it says Local Items, right? But as soon as I click Go on this Next, it's going to switch to an iCloud icon. I'll show you that in one second. I want to click allow on this because it's going to allow my Mac to use Find My Mac and track it. Right now, iCloud is still being set up, so it's kind of running in the background. I can't really do much with it. So I'm going to click on the keychain access and show you that it already changed the local items keychain to an iCloud symbol. We now know that this is synced with iCloud which is fantastic. Let's hide that now. Um, this is still being set up. We're just kind of letting it run. As you saw, it kind of blinked. Um, if we scroll all the way up to the top, these are all the things I can back up. iCloud Drive is really convenient for just storing files that you want to it and having them backed up on all your devices. Um, you can kind of go through and determine what you want backed up. The biggest thing that I want to look at right now is I want to look at this Find My Mac. Right now it says my location services is off. So we definitely need to turn that on in order for this Mac to be able to be tracked. So let's click Details. 
This is going to open up the security and privacy pane. And then we're going to unlock this. And we're going to click the Enable Location Services. If we kind of scroll this area down, you're going to see System Services. If we click on Details, within there, you're going to see that Find My Mac is checked. Awesome. We're set. To confirm, we're going to go back over to the iCloud System Preference pane and see that we no longer have a message next to Find My Mac. It's checked. We're set. Um, the next thing I want to show is actually opening up a browser and connecting to my iCloud account to track this device. Let's say somebody stole this device. It's gone. I don't have any clue where it's at. Um, what are my options? So let me log into my iCloud account. You can go to any browser on any device, Windows, Mac, and you'll be able to get to your iCloud. It signed in, and basically, I, oh, it looks like this Mac is reporting in, and somebody has it connected to Wi-Fi. So they must have used Apple's built-in guest account because I have the device encrypted, right? So if they reboot the device, it's going to show them that they can log into this guest account and use uh, it to set up Wi-Fi or connect to free Wi-Fi and also be able to use Safari. So they can still use the device while I'm tracking it, but very limited use, right? So the other um, aspect of being able to tracking, this is from a browser, but let's say I have an iPhone um, or an iPad or an iOS, any Apple iOS device, I can, uh, I can connect to... Uh, find my iPhone from the find my iPhone app so I'm gonna actually log in here and as you can see um, I'm able to track it with a pretty high level of detail right so here I am over there there's my Mac oh it just kinda hopped the person must be moving so what I can do is I can select this Mac and I can click on actions right now I have three options I can play a sound I can lock the Mac or I can erase the Mac um, right now I'm thinking that what I want to do is I want to play a sound and alert the Mac so let's say it's just lost in my house this is an easy way for me to find it so let me demonstrate that As you can see, that allows you to be able to track it if it's within your vicinity, right? Uh, um, then you'll be able to find it. But if you were to click the lock my Mac or the erase my Mac, the unfortunate thing that I dislike about this is that it reboots that system and it's no longer trackable. So if you do one of these, um, generally just keep in mind that it is no longer going to be trackable if they do bring it onto a Wi-Fi network. But let's say the device isn't reporting in. I can click any one of these three items and as soon as that device checks in, bingo, it gets that, that command that I sent. Um, so this is, this is Apple's iCloud feature uh, using Find My iPhone to track your device play a sound you have the ability to lock it just by uh, clicking the lock if I do click the lock we're just gonna show this and let's say I want to say lock this Mac so now I can choose a code I can say please contact Jesse, click done, and bam, it's now locked. 
The device will reboot and you'll see this message. They'll need to enter the PIN in order to get in. So now that you know how to set up an iCloud account on your Mac, you can track it, you can lock it, and you can wipe it, and you can even send it alerts, uh, sound alerts, right? It's pretty neat that you can do these types of things on the Mac platform, and, and iCloud is so much more. Look into it. Look at what it's backing up. Make sure you familiarize yourself with it so that you understand where you're going to go for your data, um, you know, when when the event happens. If something ever does happen, you want to be protected, right? You want to be able to say, do you know what? It was just a Mac, right? I'm going to replace it. I'm logging into my iCloud account. I'm going to pull down the data that I had backed up in there and any other resources that maybe I use an offsite backup for other stuff or whatever I want a whole system backup you start in, you know incorporating that type of uh, uh, solution for recovery right but now you know you have the, the ability to really take take charge right 